Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sylvia Dionosis Sylvia Craft. Today I'm going to show us how to make this beautiful design. And I'll be using size 9 bidding needle, fishing line point 30, and 2 mm seed bead. Then I'm going to be using this um, pipe bead. This is what I'll be using. When you go to buy it, you can ask them for boggle bead. It just pipe, it just sits very small. It's not up to the size of the straw. So to start with this design, I have my needle attached to my fishing line. What I'm going to be doing, I'm going to pick one seed bead one pipe one seed bead one pipe one seed bead one pipe i'm going to have it like this three of those seed bead and three of the pipe bead then i'll let it get to the end i'll slide it then I'm going to tie it. I'll tie it three times. So after tying it three times, just to secure it, I'm tying it three times so it will not slip out, it's not, it will not loose or pull out. Then I'm going to tie it and cut off the excess. So at this point I'll be working with my needle and this bit here I'm holding. Then holding it with my left hand and I have my needle. Then I'm going to pass this needle through this seed bead here. I'm going to pass it through the seed bead like this. So at this point I have my fishing line coming out of the seed bead, this one here. So what I'll do now, I'm going to pick one seed bead and one pipe bead. Then I'll pass my needle through this seed bead, this nice seed bead here, in this direction like this. Then I'll bring it out. And I'll pick a seed bead and a pipe bead. <clears throat> now I'll skip this pipe bead here and pass it through the seed bead. I have it attached now. So the next, I'll pick a seed bead, a pipe bead. Now I'm stepping up. Instead of passing through the seed bead here, I'm going to step up by passing through the second one attached, this one here. This is the one I'm passing. I'm leaving the other one behind. Then I'll pass through it like this. Then I'll pick a seed bead again and a pipe bead. Then at this point, I'm not going to be passing the one. I'll be passing through the first, the second one added like this. This is the ones I'll remember now is 2-2. Two, two. Then the second one added is where I'm passing through. Then I'll pick a seed bead. A pipe bead and skipping this first one here I'm passing through the second seed bead here 
then I'll pick a C bead and pick a pipe bead. So now remember here I'm stepping up. This is the second one added. Then I will still skip the second one and pass through this third one because I'm stepping up now like this. So at this point I have this. So the shape is forming gradually. Then pick a seed bead, a pipe bead, and I'll pass through the third one now. So you just as you keep passing it and your length increases. So I'm stepping up once it gets to this point. I'm, I will step up by passing through this top one. Then make sure as you do this, make sure your fishing line tight. Make, make, make sure it's tight. Because if it's not tight, it will not be strong. Make it strong by tightening it like this. You just make sure you pull, pull hard like this then i just pick one or one of this i'll skip this i'm stepping up here now past the top one then here i'll pick a seed bead again and a pipe bead and skipping one this down one and passing the top like this Pick a seed bead, pick a pipe, and skipping this down one and passing through this one here, like this. And I'll pick a seed bead, a pipe bead, skipping this and passing through this one. I'll pick a seed bead, a pipe bead, skipping this first one here, this one, and passing through this one here. I'll pick a seed bead again, pick a pipe bead, skipping through this and passing through this top one. I'll pick a seed bead, a pipe bead. I'm skipping this one here. I'll pass through this second one here, the topmost. So I'll pick a seed bead, a pipe. Then skipping this and passing through this. So continue like this till you get to your desired length. Here I have the ones I made for bracelets, you see? So continue like this till you get to the length you want it. So go ahead and make yours. If you have any question or concern, don't forget to ask. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Share my videos, like them. See you next time. Bye-bye. So here is the finished result. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Share my videos, like them. See you next time. Bye-bye.